What's up everyone? Today I will show you how to map the rotary encoders on Native Instruments controllers. Native Instruments controllers have two types of rotary controls. Knobs have a line and an upper and lower limit. Encoders can turn infinitely right or left. Jog wheels are also encoders. The machine controller only has encoders, but they can be mapped as knobs if you need. Encoders mapped in relative mode have up to 25 clicks per turn. You can map an encoder as a knob and it will have up to 100 clicks. Jog wheels are much more sensitive and have up to a thousand ticks per turn. An encoder sends a value to tractor indicating its direction. A knob sends a value to tractor indicating its position. In controller editor, select one of the encoders. We're going to set it up in absolute mode. This will make it behave like a knob. Let's go ahead and map deck volume adjust. Hit learn, move the encoder. Notice it's set up in fader knob direct mode. Let's go ahead and adjust it. Oh, looked like it jumped a little bit there, but it works pretty smoothly. Let's go back to tractor preferences loading. And notice when we load a new track into the deck, it will reset the volume. Okay, volume's at 100%. Let's go ahead and turn the knob. Oops, and it looks like it jumped to the last value that it had. This is because the knob sends its position. Let's go back to controller editor, change that to relative mode. And in tractor, we're going to change that to the encoder. And we're going to set the rotary sensitivity to 230%. And let's test it out. All right, we can adjust the volume. It's not quite as smooth as with the knob, but it works well. Let's go ahead and load a track into deck A. It's back to 100%. Adjust it. All right, it started from 100 and it did not jump. This is good. There are two types of encoders in tractor, but first we will make a tool. Map volume adjust for deck B, hit learn and turn the encoder. Set the type of controller to fader knob, direct mode. The volume fader will move to a level based on the MIDI number 0 through 127 that it receives from the controller. This will be the MIDI number indicator tool. Now let's go to controller editor and set the encoder to relative mode. In tractor, map volume deck A and set to encoder, relative, 7FH-01H. A left turn will send a 127 to tractor, which is 7F in hexadecimal. A right turn will send a 1 to tractor, which is 01 in hexadecimal. Let's set the sensitivity to 230% and test it out. A left turn will send a 127 to tractor and decrease the volume. A right turn will send a 1 to tractor and increase the volume. Let's go back to controller editor and change the encoder to relative offset mode. In tractor, we'll need to change it to 3FH-41H. A left turn will send a 63 to tractor, which is 3F in hexadecimal. A right turn will send a 65 to tractor, which is 41 in hexadecimal. Both relative and relative offset modes work the same, but you just need to make sure you match the correct modes between controller editor and tractor. You can adjust the encoder speed. For best results, set step to one and resolution to 100 in controller editor. For demonstration purposes, I will use a knob with a line. In tractor, let's map volume adjust for deck A and set it up as an encoder in relative mode. The rotary sensitivity setting will adjust how fast the control moves. Use the chart on the right for reference. Let's set the sensitivity to 230. It takes one full revolution of the knob to go from minimum to maximum. Set the sensitivity to 270, and you can adjust the volume with three quarters of a knob turn. Map key adjust and set sensitivity to 230% to move in increments of one. Map list select up down and set sensitivity to 100% to scroll 24 songs per turn of the encoder. Map loop size select and set sensitivity to 71% to change 12 loop sizes per turn of the encoder. In tractor preferences, you can select different types of filters for the mixer section and remix slots. The latter filter adds sound coloring to your mix when you adjust it. The latter filter requires a fine control for a smooth sweep. A setting of 175 will make the filter move in steps of 5%. This works well for fast filter sweeps, but not for a slow sweep. For a smoother filter, we need a finer control. This means setting the encoder to knob mode. 
In controller editor, change the encoder to absolute mode. In tractor, change the type of controller to knob, direct mode. The filter will be smooth this time. Since encoders don't have a stop in the middle, a filter reset button is a good idea. In controller editor, set the encoder to absolute mode. Select a button for filter reset, set it to gate mode with LED on for MIDI input. In tractor, start with the filter adjust command. Add a filter adjust output back to the same encoder, then add a modifier condition to it. Map the modifier to the reset button. This will prevent the filter from getting stuck near the middle. Map the filter to adjust to 0.5 when you hit the button. The send monitor state command will update the encoder position on your controller when you hit the button. Let's make the reset button light up when the filter is not centered. Add a filter adjust output back to the reset button. Set the controller range just above and below 0.5. Turn blend off, turn invert on. With these new powers, you might be the next mapping genius.